I'm gonna need new dice for my orcs. Yes, I have an excuse other than the fact that it's my birthday. Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome to a very special Hobby Night vlog episode. And this, this cute boy is Jack. He was our little emergency kitty this weekend, but he's doing a lot better. Turns out he has some chronic pancreatitis, but that is totally manageable and we're very happy he's home. But today we're not just talking about our good fluffy boy here. It's my birthday this week. So I'm gonna be celebrating a little bit and I'm gonna be going some shopping. We're gonna to go to a theme park. We're gonna unbox some things. We're gonna look at a bunch of cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this sort of birthday celebration with me and uh, let's get to it. He's ready to go. Hey guys, I'm Angela and it's Tuesday and I'm here at Games of Berkeley because, well, I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping because it's the day before my birthday, but we're close as you can see but I'm gonna go in and they're gonna let me do a little bit of private shopping because I'm a little spoiled and I work here. So they're gonna let me do this. And I can't wait because I've been looking at some things on our shelves. So let's go ahead, head inside and take a look at what I might be getting. You guys, come here, I wanna show you something. This is something that I don't think I've actually featured on the channel before, but here are the Hobby Knight Knights. Those are our boys, as well as some of our assassins in the background. We have some that we painted these guys like a while ago. I love them. We've run a couple of games with them and it's been super fun. I can't wait to integrate them into like our full Hobby Knight list and do some Space Marines with Knights versus like Death Guard, or as I'm building the orcs up, like that's gonna be really fun. I, oh, it's gonna be so cool. They've been living here for a little while, so I can't wait to break them out again and actually play with them. Hey guys, I wanna shout out a section of the store that doesn't really get covered on the channel very much, but we have a ton of them. Puzzles! If you guys like jigsaw puzzles, we have a massive selection of them. And some of them have really cool designs. Like look at this fun, like monster guy on, I think it's a rocking horse with this kid. Like I love these. There's also like, this one's really cute to me. I'm, I'm really into these sort of artsy ones, um, but they have like classic ones. If you want, you know, a classic Vincent van Gogh or something like that. We've got really cool themed ones. I actually even think, I don't know if they're in this section or we've got them elsewhere, but we also have a bunch that are like tied to board games because Everdell has a bunch of puzzles. Gloomhaven actually has a puzzle. Like, I think we've got a bunch of puzzles for the Renegade Games like designs. So they've got some really cool stuff. There's a lot of really cool jigsaw puzzles out there. I'm gonna need new dice for my orcs. Yes, I have an excuse other than the fact that it's my birthday. Perfect. So this is one of the coolest sections in the store to me because this is our locally grown section. So these are all designers that are local to the area, live here and have designed games. So we have them here. We've got stuff like Exodus Fleet, King Domino, Herbaceous. Um, I'm a real fan of the Red Dragon Inn, which was a fun like party drinking game, which is really cool. Um, Blue Orange is located here, so we have a lot of their games here. These ones are really cool to the Bay Area specifically, um, and I really would recommend checking them out. Either California Water Crisis, Bay Area, Regional Planner, or North Berkeley. They're all really cool games. 
I know a lot of you guys have been asking for some coverage on war games that is not 40k or Age of Sigmar or Games Workshop related and I do have access to quite a bit. There's stuff like Star Wars Legion, we've got the Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures game, we've got God Tier and Conquest and Star Wars X-Wing. Hell, I even have Dust and some Infinity and the Song of Ice and Fire. I've got lots of cool things. Honestly though, like the one that I find to be like the most interesting to me personally is Legion. I do actually own the, not this one, this one. I have the Clone Wars um, core box actually that I've been meaning to build up and everything. I've been looking into it because I've been really, really into Rebels over quarantine. Like I watched the entire thing. Um, I finished up Clone Wars and now I'm watching all of Bad Batch. So I'm really, really vibing with the Star Wars stuff. So if you want to see that kind of thing, let me know down in the comments because I know I'd definitely be interested in covering a little bit more of that kind of stuff and painting up some of those models on the channel. Please be careful with the knife. I am. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah, it's so cool! Ah! Okay, hold on, hold on. I need to get it out of the plastic. Uh, there are scissors. Yes, there are. Oh my God, it looks so cool. Oh, the paint job is so nice. I'm being careful because I don't want to scuff it. Ah! Use the scissors, then, not your hands. I'm worried that I'm going to hit it with the scissors. Well, there we go. Okay. Aren't you supposed to be a miniature specialist? Ah, you, can, you can deal with small cutlery. I can. I can. Oh my god, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> ah! Careful, please. I have no idea how that stuff is fixed. I, you know what? You're right. You're right. <laughs> Oh, does it have the name? It does have the name. Nice. Oh, it's so good. I now have a brand new prop. I need to get so many more costumes. Oh, I have to dress up as a sister again. That might be my Halloween costume for this year. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Well, while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. All right, so what did I end up getting? Well, I got Mechanica, which is a who like robot factory game, which I think is like, I'm really fascinated by this backboard and everything because I think it interacts and I think things drop down. So it seems really cool. It's maybe dexterity based or something. It's not dexterity no, based. No, it's probably not, but I'm really excited for it. Um, I also got Tiny Epic Kingdom and Tiny Epic Kingdom Heroes Call because it has this expansion. And since I have that cool new bag and everything from Game and Games, I was like, well, I should pick up some more of these. I really like them grab a few. Then I did decide to get the Power Rangers deck building game because I'm a Power Rangers kid, like at heart, and I really like deck builders. So I think this is gonna be perfect for me. I can't wait to play it. Then this is actually a recommendation from Adam from No Rolls Bar. He had recommended and done a little bit of um, a talk recently on Escape Tales. Um, and Children of the Wormwood is the one that he recommended. So I'm going to pick this up, try it out, because I really like these sort of mystery solving escape room style games. Um, so I'm really, really hyped for this one. Then I am going to pick up a few of my Warhammer holds. We've got some of our vampires from when Curse City was a huge thing. And we thought that these were going to be expansions and stuff. Um, I just, I still think they're really cool and I want to paint them. So I'm going to grab them. I also have a new paint set that I want to try out. Vallejo and WizKids teamed up very like, I don't know how recently it was now, but they have these like sets of paints and I want to try them out and see what they were like. Cause I have not actually used that much of Vallejo's paints. And I think this is going to be a thing they're doing forward. So I just want to try it out. Then I'm also getting oh, my dice, but my orcs. I went with the festive um, like blue green style from Chessex. Cause one, I really like the blue, obviously in the green of my orcs, it measures their flesh and then the color scheme for the snake bites, but it's got a little bit of yellow in there too, which I thought was cool. 
And then I'm gonna get some blue tack because I'm running out and my stuff's getting old and I want to try the actual branded version for painting. And we picked up some new dice bags to go with the dice. I just thought this was really cool. Like I love the, just like the alien skull. It kind of looks Necroni a little bit minus our color scheme. And then like this one was just like a classic cool dragon like design that I think I've seen around for a long time. So I wanted to pick one up, but that is what I picked up. Now, this isn't everything that we're doing. Let's go ahead and head to a theme park. All right, so we've got another thing that I wanted to open up. This was sent to me by the Wizard Detective Academy, which is a group that just reached out to me to say, hey, do you want to look at our game? It is a choose your own adventure game that has like, like a mystery solving aspect, but it's also like magic theme. So you're like learning spells, brewing potions and like discovering this world of magic. So they sent me one. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what's inside. Um, I have not looked at this at all yet. I'm really excited. I can't wait to try it out and actually play it. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's come over here. Okay, so what they've sent me is Case 101, mostly armless, which is just adorable sounding. I love this packaging, by the way. So let's take a look at what's inside. And then if you want to end up seeing more, because I am, this is a game, so I want to play through it and actually like go through that and everything. I'll be posting about that on my Instagram. So if you wanna find out more about this game and everything, definitely check that out. But for now, let's look at, at the actual contents, which, oh my God, they look so cute. Okay, oh, where do I start? Let's start with the case journal. So this is your case journal. This case journal will be your primary resource for all case related information and allow you to communicate directly with your instructor, Nicholas Pepper, as he guides you throughout your investigation. So what this game is basically is it's a choose your own adventure style thing. And I think, yes. Okay. So this is exactly what I was expecting. It's a choose your own adventure style game. If you're not familiar with those, if you remember like choose your own adventure novels as your kid, they'd have these paragraphs, they'd have numbers corresponding with them. And then you'd jump to various pages, depending on like what kind of decision. Is it a choose your own adventure novel or is it more like the, the Sherlock Holmes consulting detective I board games? I think it's going to end up being more like the Sherlock Holmes consulting detective board games where like you use this as a reference point, but then it looks like, ooh, okay, look. So yeah, I think it is gonna end up being more like that because you've got like location cards here, which you're instructed not to turn over until uh, you're told to. We've also got story cards. So this will probably be like events maybe or something. I'm really excited to see what this is. <gasps> and they have legacy style envelopes that you know nothing about with an cute, adorable little sticker on the back. I, oh, here you go. Oh, look how cute that is. I love the presentation of this game between like this packaging design. Like I said earlier, like this is super cute. I love the etching style. I also like the sort of uh, brown like paper that it has and everything. And this that's carried throughout. So like it carries through with these. Um, you've got similar sort of etching ink work style print. Um, I love the ribbons and everything. I love these cards. They kind of go with it as well. Like it's all that neutral color tone. And then we've got our rules and what, <gasps> Look at this cute map. Oh, I love that. Okay, so these are probably some of the locations you go to. And I wonder if these end up being like close-ups on any of them or like detailed descriptions of some of them. So I, that's what I'm kind of assuming maybe those are now based off this map. I love, I love this. This is so cute. And then we've got two envelopes. Uh, this is where we start. So this will probably be what I open up to begin my adventure, which it actually feels like there's quite a bit of like stuff in this like paper-wise. So. I'm excited for that. And then we've got our case solution. So if I think I've solved it, I will probably open this. This has spoilers inside. So I'm definitely not gonna be peeking at this until I've actually played through the game. But I'm really hyped for this. Thank you, Wizard Detective Academy, for sending this to me. I can't wait to actually play it. Like I said, if you guys are interested in following along with this or peeking at it as I go through and just like finding out my thoughts on it at the end, check out my Instagram. I'll definitely be doing some posts about it. In the meantime, I can't wait to play this. Thank you guys. And we're here at the home of WrestleMania 31, Levi Stadium, but also Great America, where we're going to have a good day of theme parking, eating junk food, and going to a Mass Effect ride, which honestly I'm really excited for and it's one of the main reasons I came.
That's right, it's an ambush. He wasn't expecting to be filmed. No! Yeah. How's actually, it going? It's going actually quite wonderfully. So we've done bumper cars, we've done the Mass Effect ride. We just are wrapping up lunch. Um, it's very healthy. It's very healthy. We got pizza, hot dog. We had some fruit though. We had some fruit. We're good. We're good people. So we're going to do the water park next, which I'm actually really hyped for because I haven't been to a water park in... I mean, I haven't actually been to a theme park in like six years or something like that, but it's been really long since I've been to like a water park, especially one that's comboed. So I'm looking forward to this. Plus it's kind of warm, so it'll be nice to cool off. So I'm very, very much looking forward to getting wet and riding in the Lazy River and going down some slides. How's it going, Angela? It's going well. We are above the park, seeing the sights where we're technically not supposed to be filming. It says no taking pictures. This is filming. Hey, we're here at a sister's monastery to get some funnel cake. How's that diet going? It's going great. Listen, this delicious imperial funnel cake from the Sisters Monastery is going to be amazing. Look at it, it's got ice cream on it, powdered sugar, and it's fried dough. Oh, all of the best things, I can't wait to eat this. was a great day at the theme park as well as just like going shopping and everything like this was a fantastic week I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on the ride with me I think man, I did so many cool things this week I think definitely the theme park was my favorite bit I want to say that it's a tie between actually just being able to go to a water park for the first time in like a really long time that green coaster that I rode and the, honestly, I really liked the Mass Effect like dark ride. That was really fun. And I just, it was such a blast to be able to do. I hope to go back again. I actually saw advertisement at the park for some Halloween stuff. So I'm hoping that maybe we can go back at that time and everything, but I've really had a great week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of different uh, hobby vlog than what we're normally doing, but I'm back at the hobby desk now. I'm gonna take a little bit of a break, but then I'm gonna get back to working on these orcs because it is time to keep painting and we got the hobby on. And I, ha I should come up with more hobby related catchphrases, I realized. I think I need more hobby themed catchphrases to end myself out because that would just be fun and probably a little fantastic and obnoxious. And I really look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me about what you guys thought of the video down in the comments. Do you want to see more vlog type stuff like this? Because honestly, it was really, really fun to film. Um, I mean, it helped that I, it was my birthday and we got to do a lot of really cool things. But let me know because cons are coming up and I want to do that kind of stuff. So I'll see you guys later. We'll get back to some normal hobby content next week. And I'll see you guys in a bit. I've been Angela. Thanks for watching. Bye.